Hello, Nefertiti Pointer here with the Devereaux Center for Resilient Children. I hope you're having a good day. So what did you think about that screenshot? Now, not a good time for humor? Well, let's talk about it for just a few minutes or so. So Rudy Bello sent that to me. Rudy is our marketing specialist at the Devereaux Center for Resilient Children. And she gave me a little bit of an idea of why she was not so happy when she saw that particular screenshot and she began to also talk with me about how she felt now more than ever it is probably a, a good time for us to use the protective factor of humor the resilience literature actually does say that one of the protective factors that you and i can utilize is humor so we welcomed in a new month it's april the first sometimes people are doing pranks and not everybody found pranks to be funny at this time uh, dealing with the pandemic. Rudy actually has two close friends who pranked. One, uh, one of her friends pranked her boyfriend telling him that they got a new dog and she described the dog, what breed, how much it weighed, how much they paid for it and how when it was going to arrive and she was so excited. Her boyfriend was not as excited <laughs> only to find out that it was a prank. And then there's a mom who served her kid, her children um, juice, but the juice was actually jello, formed jello in clear cups. They had a straw in it. So when the children went to drink the jello, it wasn't going anywhere because the children thought it was juice, but it was actually jello. And then I saw an email from one of our colleagues at the Bird Center at the Villanova campus where the, um, the mom made brownies with her children not the kind of brownies that I know I would want, but a plate full of brown letter E's, also known as brownies. So we want to talk about the appropriate use of humor. It's a protective factor. It's very well documented in the literature as something that you and I can use to promote our resilience. And so today's tip is to find something that makes you laugh. And if you don't feel like laughing, we understand. We understand. At least, can you try to find something that makes you smile? Don't have to laugh. Can it at least be something that makes you smile? That's our tip for today. Use humor as a protective factor. And if you're not ready to laugh, at least find something or do something that makes you smile. Thank you for listening. We'll keep going. We'll get through this together. We will. Talk to you soon.